baby, it's later in the afternoon, honey. Way later in the afternoon, too. I'm sitting up here. Baby, this little show that was recommended on Star Road. So this little show that was recommended to me on Stars, the store for that. No, nah, it's called Step Up. And if you've seen any of the movies, um, Step Up movies or whatever, you might be intrigued. Y'all know I be putting y'all up on the TV shows. Don't do me. Anyway, it is about, what time is it? 319, it's 320, girl. 319. I need to get up out this chair and fix myself up, child. I ain't doing too much. We're going real regular today. Um, The kids be out at 4 o'clock, but we have to go down to the urgent care so that way my oldest... Um, And child, look, I know some of y'all are mothers. I ain't the only mama looking as good. Nah, but um, for those that are moms, I don't know if it's hard for you guys. Comment down in the comment section. Like, is it hard for you guys to get an appointment for a physical? Or when they're sick, it's like whenever I go to schedule an appointment for any of them with their doctor, like with their PCP, their primary care provider, Jesus, it's like trying to pull teeth. Why do I have to schedule their appointments two months out? I'm, I just, I don't understand that. It takes me away, you know what I mean? But either way, so I'm I'm really really happy <clears throat> that her godmother, excuse me guys, but that her godmother told me about the urgent care uh, or care now or whatever. So I called him up to see what the details were and whatnot, and we got an online check in. So this is going to be an experience, uh, a, a newbie on the list because I don't think I've ever been to no, I ain't never been to care now or urgent care. But this is something different other than going th through their PCP, right? So that appointment is at 5. The kids get out at 4. It's only 3.20. Um, and so, yeah, I just got to get dressed, maybe throw on an ear bob, get a little mascara. I ain't even putting on lashes. Baby, because I really feel like Texas just kind of like normally we skip fall but that's because we stay in summer but now the shit thing got disrespectful it didn't got real disrespectful and i don't appreciate how cold it's been like i mean we ain't even get acclimated to fall y'all just i mean they skipped right on over fall and just went right into winter I mean that winter that stopped the molasses winter. I mean, it's been so cold, like 30 degrees cold, child. I think today we might be in the high 40s, mid 50s, if that. But these last few days, matter of fact, a week, child, it's been colder than three left shoes in the wintertime. With that being said, it's still looking a little mm, outside. Do I want to give soccer mom vibes or do I want to give sexy mom vibes? All right, boo, she back or whatever. She back on your screen, girl. I'm like, mm, 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 mm. I just wanted to come show you my little outfit check or whatever. I decided to go with my little comfy mom outfit, which was just my little gray sweatsuit. No, I'm not wearing my slides. I'm actually wearing these. I'm actually going to put on my little tennis shoes, matter of fact. The kicks, the kicks for the streets today. That is the shoe. Let me get this over here. Bam. So this is the look, right? Just a little gray sweatsuit. And I actually got this sweatsuit cheapy, cheapy, y'all. I got this sweatsuit at 
The the top was twelve dollars and the bottoms was nine dollars, but I got it at the beauty supply, believe it or not. Baby, you can find some gems. So I don't really have on any jewelry. I got on these little ear bobs from the beauty supply store. So yeah, and they are just let's see if I can bring y'all in. There you go. So that is the ear bob. It's a little shiny. There we go. If I turn down my light. So that's the little ear bob that we're rocking. And my Michael Kors watch with the pink band. That's all we doing. We actually finna head on out. Cash is already in his kennel. Y'all come on. So we're gonna try to rush actually over here a little early to the care now. Um, go ahead. Because I think I'm gonna grab my other jacket too, because they're not gonna freeze me. King is at tutoring and he gets out of tutoring at 5 30. Right. And we're gonna leave it on A and E. For pink, I mean for what's this boy name? Cash. I got too many cheering, y'all. Too many cheering. What's this boy name? Cash. I got too many cheering, y'all. Too many cheering. Come on. Um Cause y'all know I want somebody to think I'm a nine one one assist. Why is you flying off. through the fucking parking lot like that any goddamn way? Oh, people are so stupid. And if he had hit the back of my car, I would have hit the back of his mammy's neck. But you be trying to make all these moves and stuff like that, and you be trying to work around everybody's schedule. Lord, have mercy. It's only 24 hours in a day, and I'm trying to make it as an influencer, child. Help me. Help me. No. No. But it could be a lot at times, but we get it done either way. All right, so we're on our way. Hey, I kind of like these. My little dollar earrings or whatever. I'm starting to like the short or small hoops and chunky earrings. And I'm actually starting to like um, studs a little bit more. At the next light, turn right. But I like studs in my top hole. I really want my third one done. So I think every year for my birthday, I get a piercing or a tattoo. Hence, I don't have a lot of tattoos, but I do have a lot of piercings. This year, the earlobes are the lucky bees. <laughs> And I've never been able to get my navel done, although that's something I've always wanted since I was like 15. I believe this is the front. This is the front. This is the front. Oh, I wonder how many people hope you're not drunk over here and, you know, roll right on off of the embankment. Why don't you? What happened to, um, what's them thingy, my joke? Little cylinders dividers or something that's a little scary if you can't see that well i don't know what to tell you all right y'all i'm gonna call you back we're gonna go in here and go to this urgent care to see if we can get in early if not we'll see you sooner than you think bitch i'll call you back as you can see apparently we back earlier than assumed right and that is because these motherfuckers be flying through this parking lot. Like, I know this the urgent care, but bitch, that say Ross Big Locks inspects liquor. Where the fuck is you rushing to? Cause ain't shit in Big Lots over here. Or the Dollar Tree. Sync has connected to your phone and is reminding you that 911 no. assist is set to off. This bitch don't never wanna let me be great. Is this where I think I'm is? I could have took the back way the whole time. So, get there a little early. Now, this is where I'm going to rant about my own kind, okay? I am going to need... Come on, baby. They better let you across that street, baby, because I'm finna stop traffic for your daddy. I am sick and tired of you bitches, okay? Getting these motherfucking medical jobs at, at the front desk. 
the pen pushers, okay? Uh, and, 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 and let me say this. The, don't go to the schoolhouse either, because I'm sick of you hoes up there too, goddammit. I'm tired of you bitches. Y'all be getting into these motherfucking jobs and shit with your little certificate, and I ain't knocking it, because I got a hair certificate or two, too, okay? I got a trade or three under my belt. I ain't tripping. But goddamn it, you hoes get in this position, and then you act like you don't want to fucking come to work every fucking day. What the fuck is the problem? Bitch, why ain't, why is you unhappy at 4.35 o'clock in the afternoon, and there's only three people sitting in the motherfucking lobby? I'm trying to figure it out because this is my first time using urgent care. My kids have insurance, so we usually go to their PCP. My oldest is 13, bro. It's not like we making trips to the motherfucking urgent care every day or like as if she's one or two or any of them are around that age and they got the sniffles or, or, or some shit that you got to take them for. Right now, they at the age that when they get sick, bitch, look. When you take them over there, all they're going to do is give you some Tylenol. So that's what we keep it stocked up. But now the Tylenol, you know, that's on the commercial now. Uh, hey. <laughs> the Tylenol is on the commercial now. So if you or anyone that you may know, their children were born earlier or had ADHD, they saying this Tylenol caused it. I know. I know, child. That's all they gave us. I know. I know. Especially them 2000 babies. Baby, they wasn't giving out no narcs, no nothing. It's just straight Tylenol. Tylenol PM, if you was lucky. I'm trying to ask the lady, you know, what's the process about how long is it going to take, you know, and all that good jazz so I can kind of time out in my time frame because I still got to get my son from tutoring. So, boom. Mind you, I asked her, did she have Wi-Fi? And the other lady is sitting over there with her goddamn head buried so far in her motherfucking jugabugs. And she had her head so far down that I thought the bitch was in a coma sitting up. And I'm like, excuse me, I asked the question. Like, I didn't say it like that, but I was like, excuse me, like, what? Because she said something, but she mumbled it under her breath. So the other lady's like, oh, I don't know. I'm like, you don't know. Or did she answer? And she's like, oh, it don't work. It don't work. You know what? I'm not finna play with y'all. I see right now where this is going, and I'm not finna play with y'all, right? So, boom. Now, I'm like, well, you know what? How long is it gonna take for the appointment? You know? <sighs> I don't know. 30 minutes, an hour. I don't know. Don't even worry about it. You got another appointment open or however this works. Can I schedule for something later? Because I thought it was a walk-in, but it says a schedule. I don't fucking know. Well, I, I mean, we got 23 patients. What the fuck does that mean to me, bitch? Do you have another opening slot or not? So, boom. She like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, it's still going to be the same time frame. That's fine, ma'am. But I have another kid that I need to pick up by a certain time. And if it's going to run over, I'd much rather the school not call CPS on me because I left my son at the fucking school because I wanted to sit here with you for a motherfucking hour, bitch. So, boom. I was like, fuck it. Come on. We finna roll. Come through, son. Show him how pretty she is. I'm pretty, girl. I ain't got a lick of makeup on on that end. Y'all knew that before that light hit, though, huh? <laughs> anyway, and I mean, them hoes was really sitting up there in that doctor's office like they was bored. Uh, they was sitting there like a low vibrational plate, okay? And that's that on that. So now, what time is it? Mm. Yeah, my clock. I forgot to set my watch back. So it's say five. I was finna say, oh shit, King Ben got forgot about. They really finna call the people on me now. Gonna head back to the house. Five o'clock, King get out in 30 minutes. And I'm finna go take off this sweatsuit so I can put it right back on tomorrow. I'm waiting on Mighty to bring me my key back. 
Thank you. Thank you. And who is all these people? What time is it? School been out. Baby, I'm really enjoying this sunlight though. I want to say that. I'm enjoying the sunlight. So, I am making a quick store run. You know, that's why I'm glad my babies don't ride the school bus because even they be driving all willy nilly, okay? My freaking tooth was hurting me earlier today. I don't know why. Something must have irritated it. But I took a Tylenol. I mean, Tylenol. Look, I was just talking about Tylenol. I mean, a Motrin. I don't even buy Tylenol like that. I bought some for surgery purposes, but that's about it. That's the only reason why I bought it. I'm excited about surgery, y'all. My surgery is exactly what? We are, damn, we in November already. God damn it, November going by like that bitch got somewhere to be next year. November got somebody to see in 2023. Cause she getting the hell up out of here. It's already Thanksgiving. Shit. Baby, she going to get on that table. I must say, you know your girl been single for a year. I've enjoyed it. I've, I've experienced a lot of growing pains. I said that on my Facebook the other day. I experienced a lot of growing pains this year. I really did, but I embraced them. I fought through the struggle and I'm still coming up out the, you know, <laughs> she's still, you know, she's still like, cause baby, life be life -ing. But she came and took me by the little wings that I had. And she took my wings and she picked them up and she said, Oof. for real, like girl, I mean, I came through the trenches. For real, y'all, I came through the trenches. Y'all don't believe me. Every time y'all get a story time, though, y'all gonna figure it out. Okay? Because, baby girl. I get it out the mud. <laughs> I've enjoyed loving on me. I've even enjoyed the trials and tribulations, child. I've enjoyed putting my little pinky toe in the dating water. Baby, she hurried up and snatched that back, though, because that water might be contaminated. I, You know, I thought I was made for the streets, but I'm going to just pack my spinning night bag, and I'm going to wait for babe on the sidewalk. He's going to be doing too much, too much. I really need, I really need, mm -mm, mm -mm, uh, uh, <laughs> can I get, yeah. I really need. Uh, 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 Child, don't mind me. You too. I really need to quit these cigarettes or whatever. That's why I've been getting singles and not packs. I know that's not a big jump, but mind your business. In the house. The more I have my camera running, I, I, I just want to say thank you to Rochelle Chanel. I'm going to link her description or I'm going to link her channel down in the description box as well because she has been a life sin. Oh my God. She has been a lifesaver. I said a life sin. Baby, the influencer and YouTuber tips she be giving the girls. She got me in a chokehold, baby. I love her. I watch her commentary and her content. I love her. Let me stop being so loud in country. But I do though. I love her. She gives me good content. And she gives out a lot of good tips on influencing. Being a YouTuber. How to get yourself out there. Get yourself seen. How to talk to different brands. Like she goes into detail about the shit. She don't just be vague about it like the other girls. You know. She give you, she, she give you the tea. I like her. I really do. Child, this be so crazy trying to get up out of here. Now, I know this efficacy. 
Now that's what you get for being ugly. Now they didn't let you go because you was being ugly. Oh, I see why your car look like that. <laughs> How about that? We made it up out of that without having to whoop nobody. Cause one thing I can do is drive, baby. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Girl. I didn't kind of low-key tow up the house. <laughs> looking for something. I done found everything but what I was looking for. Ain't that a bitch? And when I say child, I done found everything but what I was looking for. Like, now all I got to do is find all my little remotes, my little clickers. Excuse me, so when I take my pictures or whatever, because you know a bitch be like, you know? <laughs> Cause you like, I want, they act like I want just, you know, y'all like my Shein pajamas. Mm. Shein baby, don't sleep on Shein for the jammy sets. Sad and silk, <laughs> be woman. I think, you know, every woman should have matching pajama sets. I think it's so sexy. Little nightgowns and matching robes and shit. That, that's my kind of deal. Now, in the process of looking... Now, let me show y'all what I was looking for. Because I know you're like, what the fuck was you tearing up the house for? So, I have another tripod, right? Let me set y'all up right here. So, ooh, are y'all cricket? We don't want you cricket. I don't want y'all talking about me in the group chat. Let me make sure y'all not cricket. So this is my other tripod, right? And I don't remember if, if I'm not mistaken, it came with my camera, which got broken really bad and I no longer have. So rest in peace to my Mark II, it's gone, right? Your girl been vlogging off her phone, baby. I am determined, okay? I am determined to make it by any means necessary, baby. If we gotta hook these, baby, I'll do it on a projector at this point. This is the tripod that I use to do my try-on hauls and all of that. So child, what am I gonna do now? How am I gonna shoot these hauls? Cause I got one coming up. I do not know. Girl, I think she gaining a little weight back. <laughs> I think she picking up on weight again. Girl, tell me why that part missing. Look here, child. She over it. Over it. So that, I'm watching Teen Mom. I Well, it's on commercial break right now, but I am watching Teen Mom because the oval comes on tonight at 8. So I'm trying to get all my stuff situated so I can sit it down and watch and enjoy. I pulled out because I've been slipping y'all. I've been slipping on my reading. And so I also been slipping on my journaling and my planning. I'm a big planner, but I decided to pull out all of my books and things that I needed out. So um, these were the last two reads that I had bought and I hadn't gotten a chance to read yet. So this first one is by Cameron King. It's called Triple Threat. There you go. And I do buy my books at Walmart, different places, but Walmart is a great place. So is Target um, for black fiction novels and romance novels and all that good stuff so that's the triple threat by carmen um i'm sorry cameron king and she has two others that i'd like to actually read stiletto justice and snapshot they're actually on the back i don't know if you guys can see that but 
that's one of the reads I got for the next few weeks. Um, depending on what I got going during the day is how fast I read it. And then the next one is Outlaw Mommies by Entice. So that's that one. Outlaw Mommies. I read the back. I have that habit because I will judge a book by its cover. I try not to. So in order to do so, I do read the back to kind of give me um, just an insight on what the story is about and make sure I'm interested, honey. <laughs> make sure you tell me to pick up my book. Then I pulled out my um, Good Vibes notebook, which is just a notebook of lined paper. And I use this to jot down um, ideas, things that come to mind during the day, uh, thoughts, whatever. It's like a quick jot notebook, right? That's what that one's for. Then I pulled out my planner. This is a planner that I hadn't even gotten a chance to just use like that. Like it's still, I might have had a couple pages, not even a couple pages filled out. So I love the little things that it has on there. Think bigger. On the front it says, if you believe it, you can achieve it. All my little notebooks have some form of inspiration on it. So I really like this one. This one's going to be my planner for my content planning. And I think I'm going to merge um, until I get a new planner just for now. Put all my important dates and stuff like that in there as well. Like just daily activities and whatnot, right? But I'm trying to crack down on my planning content. Creating and planning. You got to plan to create and create to plan. All right? And I pulled out one of my faves. If you go back way back way 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 back like four flats on a cadillac <laughs> my boo tedra chanel which is an awesome manifesting beast honey she's a manifesting queen yes she is i purchased this journal from her a couple years ago maybe even a little bit more um and it's a manifesting journal um, and it's a I am workbook to master the art of scripting and manifesting, right? Um, it has different activities in here. She actually recreated this. Uh, <clears throat> she's updated it, recreated it. Um, and she's also added to the collection for these. How many of y'all like to read and write? Oh. Just enough to deal with you. Okay. You need to call. 